Hi, welcome to the U. Um, my name is Dale. Obviously, you reached out to me, so you would know that. Um, I like doing videos because it's a lot easier to show you like how I got to where in screen capture. Um, but if, if you ever have any questions or if there's something that you'd like access to, or if you wonder we have something like today, um, uh, Mexico newspapers, let me know and I can dig around and, and make proposals. And the answer might not be, yeah, we have that, but it might be like, oh, well, let's, let's give it a go. So um, for newspapers from Mexico, I'm not sure. I, I did some um, searching around, and actually I did like newspapers in Mexico in the catalog, and I found some old digitized ones from like the 1890s and 1915 that ran for a year, which is not useful at all. So let me show you um, where I find Spanish-speaking papers that you can cruise through and see, is this what you were looking for, or is it too much like United States-based and we want more Mexico, Central, South America, and things like that. Then there might be ideas that we can pursue with that. So, first of all, how would I find newspapers? In our library databases, oh, by the way, for login for off-campus access when you're not on campus, or if you can't access something, um, from here on out, don't pay for anything if you can. Uh, but if you go to databases, there's a couple places to go. Um, if you're not familiar with a form of media, so most of these databases are like, academic journals and they're if you just go in by um, journal indexes or things like that the list is going to be huge but if you go into like videos or if you go into newspapers the list is kind of sustainably small access world news I, I've, we're really disappointing um, if you go down to um, Mexico City here let me show you if you go down to Mexico the only one that we had full text for was like an English version of like the BBC for Mexico. But if you click on this Access World News, the interface here is from 1994. Um, but you can go anywhere in the world and it'll generate lists of papers for you. Um, so I just did North America and then eventually it showed Mexico and then I clicked on the resources here. But was, this is where I found the old digitized stuff um, that wasn't quite necessarily what I was looking for. Um, the one that I wanted to show you, there's there's a few to go through, but there's a lot of digitized old stuff. Uh, but the one I wanted to show you is U.S. News Stream. Here we go, right here. In the advanced search of U.S. News Stream, I did a test, and, and let me show you what I found. Um, so for advanced search, Oh, you can even see the search that I did. Oh, there goes all my sus suspense. But if you go down to, there's a language sort, there are many non-English language newspapers in the United States. Um, and I oh, remember that I already clicked on Spanish. Why am I here all if I don't get to show you any of that cool stuff? Where did I get this term? I went to um, Wikipedia and said, what's one of the big newspapers in Mexico? Um, and it gave me this title. But when I went there, my browser translated everything into English. Oh, but now it's back to um, Spanish. How cool. So, but when you're looking for something, it doesn't do the translate in here. It looks for the specific um, characters that you type in. And I'm not sure if the accent matters, so I don't know if you need to put that in. But I put this term because apparently um, that is somebody who was just in the paper. They said they were just captured or the wife of somebody who was just captured. So if I'm looking only in Spanish-speaking newspapers and I look up a, a term that's going on right now, ideally we should get papers that are speaking to events in Mexico, if not being published from Mexico. How I would go about that is in this sorting list down the side, you can go to publication title. And then when you click on more, it should bump up with a bigger menu. So these are all the newspapers that we get. Um, you will know much better than I whether these are the ones that you were looking for. Um, so for what it's worth, you can see here's one very declarative that it's uh, Minnesota. For what it's worth, that's one place to start. Another thing that I would encourage you to do is if there's a specific title of a newspaper that you want, title or titles, let me know and I can reach out to 
our electronic resources person and they can track down if there's a database that has those that we could then we probably can't afford to subscribe to one right now but what we, what we could do is a trial a trial of a database is something where the vendor lets us test drive something for a while so if we go to databases we can go to trial and typically it's like um, a month but you could see yeah here's you can see how it goes um, and this is Spanish films um, and we're just testing it out and what we do is we generate statistics from all over campus of like who's using this and if it has a big enough number then that helps us subscribe to it later and maybe unsubscribe from something else so these are the places that I would start last thing that I wanted to show you is under research guides right here since you said you had not been um, in library land for a while and it's changing like every year you can go in here and you can see all of the librarians on campus represented here um, health sciences engineering humanities um, linguistics all sorts of things but if you type in sociology I have a guide see all the sociology I have a guide and I wanted to show you something on the guide that I created for people who are teaching online for the first time last semester um, so I represent uh, I'm a liaison to sociology but also social work and also Department of Communication and if there was anyone who wasn't quite sure how to do these things I made this tab called teaching practices and I created a video the big four what you need to know about the academic library and you can break those down into individual YouTube chunks where it's how do I search the catalog how do I do database research um, I talk about the research guides you don't need to watch that one because I'm just showing you and how to use interlibrary loan this is where you can borrow things for free from anywhere so you have access to all the articles all the books um, and so on and so forth if you want to meet over zoom um, I'm happy to uh, do like an orientation if you wanted to see some of these resources uh, but this is a, a great place to start I'm also happy to meet in person we have a, a consultation space um, with a big monitor but at any rate thanks for reaching out to me and I hope this helps and welcome to the U